So we're gonna do a zebra print nail. You start with a white base and just a simple white base and I use acrylic paint for this. I like to use acrylic paint to do nail art because it's, you know, nail polish dries so quickly and it gets tacky and while it may be shinier, it's, it's still just less manageable. So when you use acrylic paint, um, you can go to any craft store and buy these little tubes of acrylic paint, mix it with a little bit of water, and um, again, just get a little tiny brush kit. You can also find those in any arts and craft stores and go from there. I got this one online. It came in like a specific nail art kit with other dotting tools and things like that. But you can go to a craft store and just by any sort of brush that you'd like, really. Uh, so we're gonna start by just going in, jumping right into it. So this is a very fine brush, I guess you would say. I mean, it's not fine tipped because it's a little flat on the end, but it's very thin to kind of make that stripey look. So we're just gonna start and just kind of paint some little kind of squiggly lines. to kind of do them like thicker in the middle and thinner on the end. And again, use those edges to make the design kind of flow a little bit better. And just place them randomly. I mean, nature isn't perfect. And that's the beauty of it, you know? You know, what's fun about this design is that if your brush kind of slips and falls away from the line that you're painting, you can just go with it. You know, when you're doing a tiny nail art design like this, it helps to not drink too much coffee. I failed at that today. And the nice thing about using acrylic paint is that if you get it on your skin, it's much easier to take off afterward than regular nail polish. And while you're going through, it really helps to kind of just dip your brush in some water and clean it off so the paint isn't collecting. Just start fresh. When you dip your brush um, in between each nail to wipe it off, just make sure that the water doesn't beat up above the bristles because if you do that and then you go to paint, it'll just be a watered down mess. I think this is a kind of, I mean, it looks intense, but I think it's a good design for someone to do who's just starting out using a brush like this and acrylic paints to paint your nails because it doesn't have to be perfect, you know what I mean? I mean, all these lines are 
messy and not in any specific order. So you don't really have to follow a pattern, so I think it's a good thing to use if you're just starting out. And as I go from nail to nail, when I get to the pinky, I like to kind of take the design and make it even smaller. I like the size of the pattern to match the size of the nail. I don't know why, I just like it. So once you have your acrylic paint on there with your design, put a top coat on it. Not only does it help the acrylic paint stay, because if you use, you know, you'll wash your hands, it'll come right off, basically. But it also evens it out, it makes it nice and shiny and smooth. But a tip when you are putting top coat over acrylic paint is to use a lot of it. You don't want to keep brushing and you don't really want the brush to even touch the acrylic paint. So put a big glob of top coat on there and spread it around as quickly as possible because that paint will smear. So you just want to make sure you keep that in mind when you're putting on your top coat. But other than that, there you go, you have your zebra.